everyone, welcome to Art Club and I'm Miss Liz. And today we're gonna to be creating a magic snowflake, something similar to this. Now you might be wondering what makes this painting and of this snowflake magic. So we, I painted on here and then I added some salt and that's what created this unique look. So um, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about some of the samples that were created. Uh, what I've learned from them and uh, how to get the best snowflake we can get. So this one was created using a white crayon and you can tell that it's pretty hard to see the snowflake that was drawn on here. So this is where I learned a few things. Uh, first, I started out with just a plain white canvas panel and um, a white crayon to draw on this snowflake. But after I started adding the paint, I realized it was so hard to see the snowflake. So I decided to try a white oil pastel. And I realized that it shows up much thicker and it gives you a better line and it really looks nice. So this is a great example of how we learn to make art. We try it one way, and if we don't like the way it looks, we can try something else. So I also learned that I personally like to use Epsom salt on this project rather than table salt, but table salt also gives it a beautiful look too. So this one was also used with a oil pastel. You can see that the snowflake is a little bit thicker and it looks pretty nice. And look at the beautiful colors on this painting and how they blend with, with each other. And it, I just love this part here. So as I'm showing you some of these samples, remember which ones that you think you looked, look, you, that you liked the best and um, what you might wanna create, let it inspire you. Here's another sample. This one was made with the oil pastel with the one that you'll be getting. I love the colors on this one. I, purple's my favorite and, and the pink just blends in there so nicely. However, this one was made with a crayon and it's very hard to see that snowflake. So of course, if you're doing this project from home and you uh, did not register for this program and all you have is a white crayon, I would just draw it a little bit thicker on there and then it will work, it'll do fine. And here's this beautiful one. Now this one, I don't know if you can tell, I didn't brush all the salt off of there yet, but it's, it's beautiful. So I hope you saw something interesting that you'll like to create. All right, let's open up our kits and see what is inside. So everybody has a um, canvas panel, a paintbrush, a white oil pastel, some Epsom salt. I have found that Epsom salt looks really good on this project, but you can also use uh, regular table salt. There's also some paint pots. So there's four little paint pots and there's just a tiny bit of liquid watercolor in there. And you might be thinking, that's not very much paint. How am I gonna make my project? But actually liquid watercolors goes a very long way and uh, you don't need very much. So you'll wanna look at the tops. This has got a B on it. B is for blue, P is for pink, T is for turquoise, that is another color blue, but it's a little bit different than the other one. And V is for violet. All right, so some things that you'll need from home are a paper towel and a cup of water. So let's go ahead, we'll put our uh, paper bag that everything came in to right on the table. That way if we make a little bit of a mess, it will uh, absorb right into that paper. All right, here we go. So there is a little bit of a hard part when you're working with white on white. So we're gonna take our time to create our snowflakes. You can create one snowflake, one large snowflake, like this one, 
or this one is the one with the crayon, but you can create several smaller snowflakes like this. So this is your workspace, however you would like to add your snowflakes on there. Let's go ahead and get started. I have found the best way to get started on making snowflakes is to create an X. And you do have to put a little bit of pressure on this oil pastel to make it stay right on the paper. So I first made it an X here, and then I drew a line here and a line here. I, I did find too, if you can't really see where you're drawing, stop what you're doing and angle it with the light until you can see that waxy part right on there. Hopefully you can see it in the video, but at home you can just try it out, you know, and just try to see what it is. So I'm gonna make a little bit of a bigger one next to this one here. And I'm pressing hard. If your crayon breaks, that's okay. Just go ahead and uh, keep using it. Maybe you'll have to go over it twice. And then see if you can see. You can see a little bit of my wax pieces here where I pressed really hard. That's okay as well. And then do you wanna make a fancy snowflake? So I like to put, um, little things on the snowflakes. So like this one has arrows. This one has some squiggly lines. Let's see. This one might be a little hard to tell, but it's got like a little star in, inside here. And all I did was make a little triangle part in between each of these lines, I made a little triangle. And that's what created that star. You can also put little arrows all along here if you like. And then here's this one. I know you can see this one really well. These ones are literally just the X's and the extra lines. And this has some fun triangle pieces, some lines. This one's got a circle. So, Get a little creative. Uh, you won't be able to do anything too finely detailed because your uh, oil pastel is thick, but that works just fine. So I'm gonna add circles at the end of my lines on this big one. What are you adding? And then I think I'm going to add Part of a triangle here to make the star in the middle. And my smaller one, hmm. I don't know, can you see it there? I think I'm going to add upside down uh, triangles at the end. So go ahead, get creative, add what you like, and we will check back in just a moment. If you would like to watch some of this video and then go back and start yours, that might be helpful too. All right, are you ready? To get started painting. So before we open our paint pots, the, um, an important step is we're going to add water to this canvas panel. That's going to help our, our um, watercolors go really far. So you're going to take your cup of water from home and your paintbrush and you're just going to start adding water. Now most of the time you hear me say don't use too much paint but this, this isn't paint, this is water, and I wanna see some puddles on your, on your canvas, and that's gonna really help our snowflakes look beautiful. So go ahead and start 
adding on this water with your paintbrush, you'll notice that the oil pastel is uh, resisting the water and that's what we're looking for. And that's what's gonna help create our beautiful snowflake. All right, looks like mine is pretty wet. So I'm going to start with my colors. Be very careful when you open them. If you think you need help, ask your grown-up. And I'm starting with my violet. So the first thing I'm going to do is just put my paintbrush in there and just add it wherever I want. Um, maybe I'll show you the samples one more time real quick before we get started. So this one is just uh, two color blues. And this one has all four colors in it. This is just the purple and the pink. Purple and pink. This just has um, both blues, the purple, and just a tiny bit of pink in there. And this has all four colors. So I've got my violet and I'm just gonna start adding it. Look, I almost dropped mine. And look at that. And you see one dip in your paintbrush and look how far this paint goes. That's because the watercolor paints go really far and using the water on our canvas stretches it out even more. So I'm gonna leave that for now. You can see that I left it a little bit darker here and just started spreading out and making it a little bit lighter around. Let's see. Now I'm gonna open up my blue. And start adding that. You can go up into your other color a little bit so it looks like it's nicely blending. Just keeps working on it, spreading it around. That's my brush and I think I will add some, some of the other blue, the turquoise. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that. So now you're starting to see, you know how I added my circles over here. I added the triangle pieces here. You're starting to see all that as we put the color on. All right. Do you think I should add some pink in there? I think I will. I think I'm gonna try something different and I'm gonna add pink around the edge. Let's see how that looks. I'm gonna pink my turn a different color when it starts mixing with the blues. That's gonna make it look pretty neat. All right, you keep working on yours and when you think you have uh, your colors blended a little bit and you have it how you want it to look, we'll check back and I'll show you how to add the salt. All right, so grab your Epsom salt here. And this is way more salt than you're gonna need, but we're gonna just take a couple pinches and we're gonna sprinkle it on. If you get to some spots that look like they're dry already, go ahead and take some of your uh, clean water and, and add some. So I think mine looks a little dry right here. So I'm just gonna add some water. So when the salt mixes with the water and the paint, that's how you get that really fun look. So you're just gonna sprinkle it on there. Okay. 
And you see how it's starting to, to have the paint um, magically spread out a little bit. Uh, it does take a little while. So once you get some salt on here in a couple different spots, we're gonna wait about 10 minutes and then check back. So add your salt and then let it sit 10 minutes, go find something else to do, clean up maybe, and then we'll check again. We can always add more water, more paint, more salt once we see what it looks like when it's dry this first time. All right, so I'm back and I've noticed that quite a bit of time has gone by, at least 15 minutes or so, and I still have some really wet spots here on my project. So if you have some on yours as well, just go ahead, let it sit a little bit longer. Don't try to spread the paint out or dab it up. Just, just let it dry and do its thing. All right. Mine looks pretty dry at this point. How does yours look? So now the salt that didn't melt right into our, our painting, we're going to brush it off once it's completely dry. We're gonna take it over to our garbage can, hold it over the garbage can, and we're gonna brush off all that extra salt. All right, how did yours turn out? Here's mine. I've got all that extra salt brushed off and into the garbage can. You can see a little bit where I added that extra color along the edges. I think that gives it a really nice look. So I would love to see what yours look like and you are welcome to post them in the comment section of our Facebook post. You can send them to youth at newlenoxlibrary.org. And thanks again for joining me and I hope to see you soon at the library. Bye-bye.